What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch review for you. So today I am sharing swatches of the new Painted Polish Sweet On You collection. So if you haven't heard of Painted Polish before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are five free, meaning they are free of five of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So I'm really excited about today's collection. We've got eight brand new polishes and they're all all in various shades of brown and pink. So we really have a neutral vibe going on here, but we do have a little bit of added interest because all the polishes are crellies or sparkly glitter. So it's definitely an interesting color scheme for spring. So let me just dive into the swatches then we can get into a little bit about my thoughts on them, pricing, availability, discount code, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent knee stains today it's the Orly Bonder base coat. So I'll start off with the pinkier shades first, although I will say they are definitely leaning more on the neutral side as far as pink goes. This first one is called Confection Affection and it's a really beautiful medium blush pink base and it is absolutely packed with gold metallic flakies, which is a formula that we've seen from Painted Polish before and I honestly love it. As you can see from the first coat, it was actually fully opaque, but with Crellies like this, I still like to do two coats and anyway, just so I get a little bit more depth with the glitter shining through, but I think it's super gorgeous. It just kind of feels like a classic any time of year color. Next up, we have the shade Blushing Bonbon, and this is a dusty rose, almost jelly kind of base. And then we've got a bunch of different colors within that base. We've got pink, we've got bronze, black, gold, and even copper metallic glitters running throughout. And this one is just so stunning. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but it actually does remind me a little bit of the speckled finish with just a little extra touch of color going on with the metallic glitters as well. So I thought that was really cool. I loved the way that it looked in two coats where you could just see the black glitters almost like fading into the background. It was super beautiful. Next up, we have the shade Ruby Romance. And I have to say, I love the name of this one because this polish does actually remind me of that ruby chocolate, which I did try once upon a time when it first came out. And I thought that was just so exciting, but the color itself is gorgeous. I actually loved the way that it looked in just one coat where it was kind of just like a sheer glittery pink wash of color on my nails, but I did get full coverage in two coats. It's just a super reflective, dusty pink shimmer, and it's got a little bit of hollow in it. It's got a lot of sparkle, so it honestly kind of just feels like a very good bridal color. So I know I don't usually like the dustier pinks, but I love them when they're neutral. Next up, we have the shade Coco Crush. This is another one I was super excited about. Maybe I was just very hungry when I was watching these, but this color reminds me exactly of those strawberry shortcake good humor bars, which was actually my favorite treat when I was a kid. So I really love this color. So this base color was a little bit more of like a blush beige kind of shade. So getting out of the pink territory and into the nude territory. And this one has pink and red metallic flakies running throughout. So super gorgeous. This definitely feels like the perfect springtime vibes to me without the boring colors that I normally associate with spring. Next up, we've got the shade Cording Cacao, and this one is another jelly-like kind of base. This time we have a medium beige color, and it is packed with red, purple, and pink hex glitters. And this one actually reminds me of one of their Crellies from last Valentine's Day, I believe, which was called You're My Jam. But this is kind of like the neutral beige sister to it, which I totally love. That was actually a favorite of mine. So I really love this. I just love the combination of a brown or beige kind of color with colorful glitters in it. I just, I love that contrast. It's so beautiful. Next up, we've got the shade Truffle Shuffle, and this is another one of the reflective glitter formulas. So we've got this reddish brown jelly base. And then within that, we've got a ton of reflective glitters as well as the hollow glitter. So there's a very strong sparkle in here. It's super beautiful. It's definitely a very warm tone shade, and it's kind of on the medium brown side, but it's really beautiful. I just love that intense sparkle in there and it gave me perfect opacity in two coats. And then we've got the shade Chocolate Wasted, which is another one of the reflective glitter formulas. So we've got another jelly base, but this one is in more of a neutral medium brown color. It has a very slight yellow undertone.
undertone, but that might just be my own undertone shining through here. And this is another one that's just absolutely packed with the reflective glitters as well as the hollow glitters. And it's really just so sparkly and gorgeous on the nail. I got perfect coverage in two coats, but this one was a little bit more sheer. So if you have longer nails, you might need a third for this one. And last but not least, we have the shade Oh My Ganache, <laughs> which is a great name. And this one is a deeper brown jelly base, again, packed with the reflective glitters as well as the hollow glitters. And it is just super sparkly. It's super deep. This one is more neutral, but I would say it very slightly leans on the cooler side, but it's a seriously stunning color. I feel like this is just a perfect any time of year brown and especially having all of that gorgeous sparkle in there. It just looks so nice against that deeper background color. One quick thing to note about these reflective glitters is they do tend to dry a little bit more gritty, but if you put on a thick coat of top coat or if you do two layers of a thinner top coat, it should smooth out really nicely. And here are all of the shades together. We've got the pinkier tones on top and then we've got the nude kind of tones on the bottom. And I have to say, I love these. Honestly, I love a good neutral cream polish. I know a lot of people think they're boring, but I personally love that look. I just love the look of a polish that kind of just feels like your nails, but better. But I do really appreciate this twist on neutrals. I think it's just so fun to have crellies and glitters and sparkle going on in there. And I also just love the color combinations here. I just, I love the combination of a neutral base with something very sparkly or colorful within it. And I think we saw a lot of that as well, which is super fun. And I just appreciate the variety of undertones that we get with collections like this. I think it's something that Painted Polish excels at, and I'm just excited to have another collection from them. So yeah, let's talk about it a little bit more. So those are the polishes, and honestly, this just feels like the perfect spring color story for me. I seriously love neutrals. I feel like they're definitely underrated, but it's one of my favorite types of polishes to wear, especially this time of year when we're really inundated with these dusty, springy pastel colors. So I really enjoyed this. It honestly reminds me a little bit of the Zoe a naturel line, which I also love, but this is more of like an indie crelly twist. So I feel like that just makes it even more exciting. And aside from the color story, I just feel like Painted Polish is a very underrated brand. I think they create such beautiful colors and I love the variety that they give to each of their colors to really make it feel like everybody can find something that works for them. And also their formulas are so incredible. They're so smooth and super opaque. A lot of them feel like one coaters on me, although I do like to wear more just so I can get the depth of coverage with all the glitters in them. But I seriously just feel like they are such an incredible brand and I don't think they're talked about enough. But yeah, let's get into pricing and availability. All of these polishes come in 13.2 milliliter bottles. They do have a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip. So application is super easy. Honestly, I almost never have to do cleanup with painted polish just because they're so easy to apply. And as far as pricing, it does vary based on the finish of the polish, but all of these polishes retail between $11 USD and $12 USD each. They also have the full set available for the discounted price of $85 USD, and I do have a discount code so you can use the code Kelly to get 10% off your order on the Painted Polish website, so I will link everything down below. You can check them out if you're interested. But I'm really curious to hear from you. What do you think of this collection? Have you ever tried Painted Polish before, and have you ordered any of these, or are you planning to? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Rosie, and Rosie wants to know, have you ever broken a bone? What was the worst part about the experience? I have broken a bone. I broke my nose when I was very young, and I honestly do not remember it. So I can't say how that experience was, because I do not remember it. I think I was six years old, but I did recently have to get surgery on my nose and in my sinuses, and they did have to break my nose to straighten it. And obviously I was 
under anesthesia for that. I have a, a video about it on my vlog channel if you want to know the details, but I will say after the fact that was the most painful experience of my life, but I don't think it had to do with the actual breaking of the nose, although they did tell me that they broke my nose with a mallet, which kind of terrifies me. But I, I think the reason that it was so painful is because they also had to like reconstruct one nostril because it was collapsed. And I also had to have like a pretty big sinus surgery. So that was probably why it hurt so much. But in my mind, I'm associating it with the fact that they broke my nose. I don't know. But other than that, I don't think I've broken any other bones. I might have broken like a toe at one point because there was like a few months where my toe was really hurting. But I heard that you can't really do anything about it when you break a toe. So I never looked into it and now they're fine. So I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, if anybody wants to share their experiences with broken bones, you can leave it in the comments and we can chat about it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.